All right, folks, welcome back to 
Hogwarts Legacy, the Doc Shakespeare stream is your old pal, Doc Shakespeare. Thank you for being here. This is episode seven of Hogwarts Legacy of our playthrough. The other six episodes are uploaded to YouTube, our YouTube channel right now, Doc Shakespeare on YouTube. Check it out. Follow us along through the playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and here we go. We're going to get right to it. So thank you all for being here. If you like what you see, become a follower, become a subscriber, send us some stars, talk to us in the chat, say hello. And uh, here we uh, go. Looking a little terrifying in our, in our purge mask. Uh, there's been a goblin shouting an intruder for the last four hours. I have snack factory buffalo wings pretzel chips. And they're delicious. Rebellion. Vestral statue, nice. I like finding lots of random cool stuff for my room of requirement randomly. In much the same Rebellion. way as I like st stealing from people in a town. I need to go kill that one goblin down there so he'll shut up. Like, I'll do it. on Ranrock's hands. Rebellion. Ranrock demands an update. Have you found it? Report back immediately. Ranrock suspects there is more of it in Feldcrop. Do not return until you found it. So when last we left, what we were looking to do was to get all the rest of these fast travel points. And it looks as though the next one is here. So let's up, up, and away. Get to it. Let's 
Let's see more balloons. More balloons to pop. We can do it. Flies down here, didn't I? Didn't make that up, did I? Where are you on butterflies? Revelio. Doesn't seem to be working. Sweet telescope. This looks intriguing. Handy resource, your field guide. Uh. Defeat all enemies however you choose. I like dueling feats like that. Thank 
Korok to blame. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. 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 I don't have the snow spell yet. So I'll slowly ride my broom back up here then. Revelio.
Clearing it up, clearing it up. Hey, Hell on Heels, what's up? Thank you for the like. Where's our next stop around the mountain? What are you up to now? Can't go through there yet, because that's all... In and out of the mountains. So we'll fly back to Brockborough. Just a flight test. Let's go on there. Lots of... Uh... I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Eddie, the Goblin Rebellion's attacks on Feldcraft are becoming more frequent. They seem to be searching for something. At least, I feel to find another reason why they would target our little hamlet. Regardless, of Might you have trade is suffering and the people are struggling. Feldcroft could certainly benefit from great opening optimism right now. You always seem to have the cleverest ideas. Any suggestions, my friend? I'm not sure how much longer Feldcraft can survive. Yours, Bernard the Dye.
I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Hellcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the threats? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. He's Sounds got like two right trouble. there. Perhaps I should try to help. That ought to serve you nicely. I'll be able to put that to good use. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Mr. Thistlewood, what was it you needed my help with? Crates of cabbages. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend. I just want to sell shit to you, bro. I, I simply can't leave my shop at present. Yeah, sure. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help? Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Johnny Martin, thank you for the like. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I can defend myself against the troll. <clears throat> Rebellion. Enchanted Scarecrow, this mischievous looking scarecrow was long ago enchanted to watch over the garden and ward off crows, but now simply harasses gardeners by shouting insults at them while they work. Revelio.
I spy more balloons to pop. Be strong, Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the hammer could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Well, why did you make such a strong troll in the first place, you crazy witch? What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you thrilled. should do it. I'm not thrilled by in it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Control, control. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Get all these trolls, Dan. Now there's a student who knows how to fly. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Woo! He's a big boy.
Troll bogies. I finally got some troll bogies. Rebellion. A long time coming for those troll bogies. Gross, dude. Time for a divorce, sounds like to me. Progress notes. Week one. Etiquette may have been too ambitious to start. It seems we must first cover the fundamentals of not smashing. We keep this in mind, but proceed to week two. Still vicious. Week two. Only produced a string of grunts. Still vicious. Week three. He has the right temperament for it, but lashes out indiscriminately. Somehow more vicious? Troll lesson plan, week one. Social graces and etiquette. Please, thank you, pardon me, sorry. Week two, elocution. The witch went flying for the snitch and fell in a ditch. The witch went flying for the snitch and fell in a ditch. Week three, security green. Revelio. Some nasal. You guys gonna cause me a damn problem? No, I don't think so. Rebellio. There's a bunch of wild ass shit in here. None of my business. None of my business. Back to the skies. Pop these balloons.
missed somehow the balloon. Thing that makes this a challenge is how shitty the controls are. And then it doesn't work when I actually hit it. So. Place. Hey, I murdered your troll. What's up? It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much you could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. What do we think? Slayer, Vanquisher, Whisperer. Go with whatever chat demands. Whisperer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Whisperer. Seems fitting.
Sweet, here I come. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Level 21. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Suggested level thirty. Shit. Show me or not use the map with floating candles to find the treasure.
Bridge Candles. Is the bridge. Oh. My dearest Apollonia, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pastry almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, yours, Richard. Uh. Revelio. Just to the right of the ridge. And I found the love letter there. Revelio. Is it just further over? Rebellion. Does that mean like literally you hit? Revelio. I mean, literally, though, what am I looking for? What am I not seeing? I don't know.
Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Charmed oh, candles. Wonder where they're heading. Just had to be dark. Nobody told me it had to be dark. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Correct. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Treasure seeker scarf. <clears throat> well done. Anything else that is currently in the forest. Oh, speak of the rest of the Quidditch pitch. Find it into the hidden corner. Watch that. Oh. 
do that old nugget. Before we go back home. More balloons. The wizards will have no time. Abandoned bandit camp. Nobody here but me. Why am I always on patrol? It's a waste of my skills. Is somebody there? Hello? Enjoy suffering, do you? Rebellion. What went on here, I wonder? Let 
How nice of you to see. <gasps> we agree. Banrock has fooled you all to your demise. Let me also. <laughs> Revelio So I definitely saw a troll though. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. to attend by myself. Nice try. Pretty 
Susan, you magic bite. Just keeping you on your toes. You've been paying attention in the video. Oh, Stupid fun. I won't rest until you're too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Revelio rest. This castle's hiding all sorts of secrets. Mm, not the best place for an unaccompanied student. Revelio. That's a good idea or not. Rebellion. Any who oppose Renrock. What was that? Follow a Ranrock. Rebellion. Let 
Rebellion. Uh. Incendio. That was worth it, but Revelio. Well, enough on the fine. I think there'd be like you know, food and on Ranrock's hands. Revelion. I have murdered all of you goblins in the name of Ranrock. So that I could get this silver scar. Supposed to be down here yet, but I am and so <laughs> can't get through that door because I've got to go this way. Rebellion. Some more goblins. <sighs> Back out Rebellion. here again. Sure, how to get up there? 
probably has something to do with this door that I get to get through. So many doors that I cannot get through. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Rebellion. Incendio. and healing potions. Revelio. All right, all right. Finding secrets. I done all I can do, yeah. Carry anymore with them well wearing potions. Rebellion. You silly sod. Right can go this direction either. And so down again. I'm this direction. Rebellion. What's done is done in here. Upgrade. Upgrade. Upgrade with all these scarves I've got. I guess it's a 22 scarf I can't even wear. I've eight. Fifty when I can wear it. Fifty two and questionable questionosity. Great. Great gravy. Right. All right. Off we go then. map not available great have to find my own way out certainly a drag but I did it of course out of the ridiculous Horror ruins. Which again, I can't do anything about until I have other stuff. Just over leveled and looking for things to do, you know. So off we go. Cannot go there while I'm mounted. Seems right. Oh, it's alright. I think I can go around. 
don't you see, sir? We want you to go around the mountain or through it, not or atop it. I'll be honest with you. I would like to go or top it. But this false computer wall is causing me heartache. However, we should be able to get to the flu. It's really all we want. And get that. You can't imagine how convenient travel was before. Delicious, delicious fast travel. So, now, on our way to do the cabbages, we'll stop here and see uh, what this is all about. Probably terrible at Quidditch. Gryffindor. That's me, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays. Larry Gryffindor. I'll be weak, something. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. That was no. the end of that. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying, from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. I was but showing off matter. a bit. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Ah, uh, bumbling baboons. Reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I could beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I probably will. I'm pretty terrible at flying. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I missed the rings entirely. I missed those bubbles. Success. Oh. oh, bro, I don't need to go any faster. Oh. Oh. Fucking fly, mate. Is it doing what it's doing? How is it missing those bubbles? I don't understand. Oh my god, bro. Hmm. 
made it. Did beat her time somehow. No, I didn't even hit two rings. Nice. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps I you have will. what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't Ooh, get your hopes see. up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Return to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the ranks of the leaderboard. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Yeah, do I, I suspect I... Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Do I have to do this? No. I wish the headmaster would retire. I don't know that there's any reason to do that. So I'll go back. To hugs me. Doing this quest. It any more cozy than Hogsmeade. It does not. You are a little obsessed with Hogsmeade, actually. Don't really like all the things you say. Oh, you're back. What? Something went wrong with the game. Our app in Hogwarts Legacy has crashed. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see that it didn't keep my win let's go mate come on oh my god it didn't Shit. That's the things I'm getting used to. Made it.
that. Well, that was much easier that time. Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. Don't think this I'll is just over. do it you again. Can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. Just you check, can check in. Your time and start the race. Check in at we'll the podium. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Well, it wasn't a fluke because I've done it twice in a row because the game crashed in between. It's clearly not a fluke. But I am going to go ahead and save. Just out of spite. <laughs> Since it seems like it didn't auto save, even though I fast traveled to Hogsmeade to turn this quest in. And here we go again. Cat. Always pet the cat. Hi. Excellent. Mao, indeed. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. Thank you for watching, whoever's watching. Say hello in the chat. Like give me a like, give me a follow, give me a share. Thank you for being here. Of course, they do nap in the afternoons from Hope what you're enjoying I what you see. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Nine out of ten. Almost three quarters of the way through level twenty one. Hello friends, hope everyone's having a good night, thank you for watching. I won't bug you, I will just play the game that you're here to look at. Let's uh, look at some other quests we have. Hey Nathan. I feel you, brother. I play on uh, I'm playing on PS5, so I play Warzone on PS5 too, and I'm constantly getting murdered by people playing on PC. So I completely understand. 
I just love the convenience of console maybe more than anything else. Let's go wreck these cabbages. I think on Friday, this past Friday, it came out uh, for all the current gen stuff, the like Xbox Series X and PS5 and PC, but I think it's March or April before it comes out on PS4 and Xbox One, and then like all the way in July for Switch or something, which has to be some kind of terrible port. I can't even imagine playing it on Switch, but especially waiting that long after everybody else has been playing it for six months or however long. I've been playing it since last Tuesday because I had, I got to play it early, but adventure, are we? Um, I think it came out for everything current on Friday, but it's at least another month for the last gen systems and then literally July for Nintendo. So. Which is weird because it's also like a Nintendo friendly uh, pretty Nintendo friendly game I would think uh, yeah if you bought the digital deluxe edition you should if, if you're playing it on Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X uh, it should be available for you I think it all I think it was all Friday when it came out Like I said, if you if you got it for Xbox One, it's going to be another month or something like that. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Where others see darkness, you get the wrong place. Short work of those guys. Let that be a lesson to you, dark wizards. Never underestimate a child. Yeah, man. I hope it's there for you. I got the digital deluxe edition as well. It should be there. It's fun. I, I've had a had a good time doing it so far. Um, I uh, he's behind me here. Um, like I said, I got to play it. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Um, I've been playing it since Tuesday. I have the I have one. the other videos on my YouTube page. I've tried to make sort of like episodes, you know, each day that I've played it, and uh, I just get real I get real caught up playing, uh, like doing all the side quests and stuff. Uh, I want to let that bird out. I don't have the spell to unlock any of this stuff. That sucks. Can I not do the quest because I can't unlock stuff? Oh no, there it is.
Doxy eggs stolen by poachers for use in potions. These black eggs come from a doxy, a magical beast sometimes mistaken for a fairy. Yeah, I can't fly the mounts yet. Uh, I just haven't like gone through enough. <laughs> I'm like level twenty one, and I'm like story quest wise, I'm like at level six or something. So I'm like I've out leveled all the quests at this point because I've done so many side quests and I've just sort of explored. Um, I can fly a broom. I got to do. I started doing that yesterday, obviously, because I was doing the just did the That's time. Great in hand. I did the I time trial and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I'm excited because uh, you know, you get that Thestral mount or whatever with the digital edition or the hippogriff or something. I'm looking forward to that. It should be fun. Revelio. I've never been afraid of the dark. Go down here and kill these wizards. Ah. Levioso. Accio. Expelliarmus. Stego. Stupid. Well. these potions that I can't pick up because I'm already carrying like 25 of them or something. Can't carry any more Wigan Weld potions. I think it did. I know there was one for pre-order and I think the deluxe came with one too. I think one of them, one of the, I think the pre-order was a Thestral maybe. And I think the deluxe was a uh, was a hippogriff, I think. I might have those backwards, but I th I think the deluxe came with one. But you have you can't use it until you get like to that point in the story or whatever. But you'll have it already once you get there. I haven't gotten there yet, even though I'm. Literally, I think it's I think it's max level maxes out level maxes out at forty, and I'm already twenty one. But I'm like <laughs> nowhere near where I should be in the grand scheme of s the story quests. Anyway, hmm. seems a pleasant enough little place. Just trying to fast travel around enough to. It is a very pretty game, though, for sure. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. They must. I think I'm, I feel like I've already killed all these people, but... Rebellion. Certainly here a long time ago. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Yes, I suppose you should. Nice to see you, my young friend. Sure, sure. Tales of beetles above. Hello there. Hi. Do you have the special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? You know, I do, actually. 
Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Thank you for the like, sir. I appreciate it. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place. Along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to Help another. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Sell my junk? Before I can do anything with them. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Completed side quest, side relationship quest challenge. Well done, well done, well done indeed. Knocking these quests out slowly but surely. Um, that's back at Hogwarts. That is back at Hogwarts. That is a higher level than even I am. This is back at Hogwarts. Sure, so I feel test focus potion. Deal with guide will not guide me through this assignment. My map could still prove use. Acquire and use a force focus potion. Acquire maxima and interest potions and use them simultaneously. Well, I can certainly do that. I think I have all of those. Uh, there's a Duras. There's Focus. So I did that. Not really sure what it does, but... And then we need Endurus and Maximus, is that what you said? Excellent. if you don't mind. Uh, why did that not move the quest forward? Did work. Okay, I've completed the assignment. I should return to the person's classroom. Everything I have currently is back at the old Hogwarts.
traveling back to the old castle. Honestly, I haven't been here in a while. Ugh. Is it having me go down there? Oh, I saw balloons over here. I need to pop these balloons. You see these balloons in the air. You fly through them on your broom and pop them. Each new section of them you do will count toward a cool new look for your broom. Complete popping the balloons. I haven't really messed with any of the looks for the brooms other than after I bought my broom, but Always jump downstairs. What a day of class. Coming along. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. To Pulso, do you've got it now? If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest. Level 21, will be level 22. Nope, okay. The banishing charm to Pulso is a force spell that pushes enemies and objects away from it. Well,
your spell casting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Keep those books in the air. Did that? Let's see, yeah, level eight is where I am in the story quests right now. Let's do that. Knock this one out too. How far away is that? Resource indeed, your field guide. I must. I make it worse or better coming down here. Eh. About the same. Just walk. Sometimes it's easier to just walk. Especially at Hogwarts. It's just so much of it. Like it's so big and. Mm -hmm. You're lucky you can at least find the flu closest, fast travel closest, but a lot of times you're just guessing, I find. Revelio. Pirate dragons. Yeah, it's level twenty two. All right. Rebellion. Glumbumbles. Glumbumbles are magical flying insects that produce a trickle with which cause melancholy, which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. I'm sorry, bees. Da -da -da. Rebellion. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. I don't think that's for me. These are. Let's go into the hidden herbology corridor. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Obviously. Revelio. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Rebellion. Light a torch, sir. Incendio. Room to learn Defindo, 
the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. It seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio! Rebellion. Come on. Come on. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. 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 But I saw a chest. Of course, I'm going to have to go back and try to find that. Incendio. Incendio. No sconces over here, huh? Yeah, there's the chest. How do I get up there? Incendio. Spectacles, you say? Lumos. Just jump down, bro. Get out of here. Unidentified face item. Oh, 
these plants to make potions with. Oh, is there something back here? Oh, that's where, that's where I came out. These leaves back to Duncan. Wherever Duncan may be. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Venomous tenticular robe. Did notice the potion master guy gave me another quest while I was doing stuff. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunder group potion against enemies. That will teach me defendo. this out before we get back to the story. How far away is this now? It's a ways. Oh, I have two flu locations down there that I haven't even used. Fast travel away. You can't imagine how inconvenient before I invented flu powder. I hear a key. Do you hear it? This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the past? Honeyduke's passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Send him. Off we go. Goodness. Who knew this was all down there? Revelio. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Well, that means we just have to... Repero. Repero. I need 
to fix the lift before I can use. That seems to have done the trick. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, why don't wizards and witches do this stuff all the time? Like, why is there ever a broken thing? Everything should always be pristine and fixed. They literally have spells to do it. Come on, gang. Rebellion. There's another one behind here, too. Finding gold. Ooh, another unidentified face item. Once again, all face items. This castle will never I cease to surprise me. Unidentified things have to be taken to the room of requirement. And identified. This is the way I'm supposed to be going, but brings me back to the lift <laughs> randomly. Rebellion. Is a different lift? Where am I? Is there an open box over here? Yep. I'm confused. Where does it bring you back up? Oh, it's just right here. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. Incendio. Rebellio. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Like that. Silly old bear. Just like that. Levioso. Awesome. I'm just trying to levitate a fish. I'll act like he wouldn't do the same thing. I'm going to have to get past this. Last, I've fallen. There's like a... Let's see if there's any secrets back here, and of course there is. Some pork lumps and a treasure chest. Revelio. Oh, 
the way back up there. Up we go. Incendio. Get across. Revelio. That did the trick. Good at tricks. This must be the way out. Side swims. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. What about with fire? Something smells sweet. Must be close to honeydukes. Revelio. Need here I come. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Rebellion. dried billywigs things now back to gareth i can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out revelio that ladder I'm certainly not going to come up into there that's crazy Summoner's Court is popular at Hogwarts. Students often gather near the board, looking for new opponents to challenge, as one would imagine. The competition among the houses is fierce, having defeated Natty Onai and Leander. Pruitt, I've demonstrated that I'm a capable competitor. I look forward to finding new opponents. What does that mean? Summoner's Court. How have I defeated them? Don't know that I have. Shh, 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 shh. 
Don't cry, my love. be night, not a lot of people. do this one. No. Should be. Incendio. Four. And O circles should be two. Three. One. Revelio. Well, this is the one I already did. Why did it not just tell me that? That seems silly. I want to do puzzles more than once. Come on. Come on. Could have gone to that flu. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Doing chores for everyone. One thing. All right. <laughs> Let's go meet Sebastian. against the dark arts classroom I've always said that travel broadens let's wait on Sebastian there he is over here Sebastian 
Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Apparently I knew it already. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. She named it the Undercroft. With my sister. Oh. We loved that infernal game. Rebellio. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you. So please. Keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Well, I'm going to rob you first. Then I'll talk to you again. All right. All right. I think I'd seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them. As he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target, though. Long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. Like that.
best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I, I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah. Well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. 
And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian. See me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. As you say. Still can't put on those yet. Oh. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than I, mine. I already read that. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Wingardium Leviosa.
want that pumpkin head for sure. Give me that pumpkin mask. Leprechaun suit, which is very sexy. Five percent done. The entire game. see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then... We took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting, to say yes. the... Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did, and because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Ah, oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. made and over here the forbidden forest and of course hogwarts it's magnificent
If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The That's trials what... were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. The Transformer. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. So many people tell me not to tell anyone anything. Maybe this is the map chamber quest that needs to be completed in each house. If so, then it's even longer than I thought. Woof. Although I think it's the one that popped the trophy last time, to be honest. Always with the tasks. Sheesh.
acquire and use venomous tentacula acquire and use mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously pop balloons over hogsmeade station pop balloons around the quidditch pitch Percival Rackham's trial. <clears throat> Meet him at the tower. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. All right. So let's learn. Let's go. Whoa. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Learning the spell and then we're going to bed. That's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to learn the ice spell. And then we're going to ice ourselves straight to bed. See the balloons. Outside the outside the zone, man. This one. Over here, I guess. Rebellion. 
Hogsmeade Station Ticket Office. The station has stood since the early 1800s when the ministry, Minister of Magic, Adeline Gamble, acquired a steam engine train to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight, just after the train did. The operation involved using a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment charm ever performed in Britain. Strange, but there's not one there, but Silly, I suppose. Got him. How did you get on with those tasks? Rebellion. Dear Madam Kagawa, I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials uh, for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please... Could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I should be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor Melda Reyes. Revelio. Dear Madam Kagala, marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohana Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards. Matilda Weasley. Oh, look. Little Quidditch pitches. People flying around on it. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, I'll admit. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Uh, sure. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. 
Pay attention to your wand work. Glacius. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking. Quickly. Oh, well, I suppose I should... Oh, it's a that game. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You're wearing me out, Simpleton. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lowen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. What can I do for you today? I need invisibility. A wise decision. Thank you. And I don't know how much Thunder Brew I have. to see you again. Farewell for now. I have one Thunder Brew, one Invisibility, one Thunder Brew, one Focus, no Maxima, and no Endurus. I do have Venomous Spectacular already, and I need Mandrake. What can I do for you today? Oh. Let's go ahead and buy this other invisibility oh, potion. Wise decision. Thank you. And another thunder brew in case I screw that up. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope this again. Farewell for now. That'll be best that I just buy him so I can make him. 
myself. See a cat, pet a cat. Oh. Hogsmeade, here I come. Sorry, in Hogsmeade, you don't have to say things like that. Dogweed and death cap tree. This large tree with winding branches supports the shop. Dogweed and death cap. It's got another eyeball chest that I don't really know what to do with. to be reckoned with her. Scaring all the goblins away. Come on inside. Oh, watch your... Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way... Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Lumos. <laughs> Reparo. Expelliarmus. Accio. Levioso. Incendium. Depulsor. Confringo. Glacius. Rapid. 
Revelio. All right, I haven't done about Sometimes this much. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Damages we can do here. Let's go back to the room of requirement and call it a night. Shall we? Leave we shall. Ah, I never thought about that. I was trying all those other spells. I found those eyeball chests everywhere and I just I keep forgetting to like look it up and see what it does. I never thought about that. That makes a lot of sense because it closes the eye, right? And then you can, because he's not looking because you're invisible or whatever. Didn't even think about that. Thank you for that. Yeah, exactly right. Shoot. Never even thought about it. I was trying all that other stuff and didn't even consider a non-violent spell, basically. Oh, man. Alright, so I've identified all the crap I had. Still can't wear that. Total level 23, but it's not high enough level anyway. That is... Increased damage dealt to cursed targets. It already has a slotted thing in it. That's pretty great. Very cool, very cool. This one has binding in it already. This one has ancient magic. Just got rid of those dragon eyes, too. I was like, eh. Finally something that looks less silly. I know I can transmog stuff, I just don't. I kind of like having him look like a... wild guy. Increased damage from ancient magic, so that's sweet. Increased damage with... Petrificus Totalis, which I... don't have. Let's change the looks of this jacket. Just got some dragon thing that I thought looked sweet. Although... Oh my gosh. That's what I need to do. Run around looking like a... For real knight. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Night set to go with the <laughs> just run around looking like that. There's my ogre killing hat. That's my lucky leprechaun hat.
He's looking more like Doctor Who than he is a wizard, but I'll take it. It's my favorite of the scarves, but I don't know if it goes with this ensemble around the back. that house hey nathan thanks buddy i really appreciate it thank you for stopping by and talking and chatting and, and watching the stream seriously have a good night thank you thank you thank you very much hope i see you again is going to do it for me. Let's go ahead and save here. folks. That's going to call the end for episode seven tonight. Hope everybody enjoyed the stream. Thank you for being here again. This will be on uh, my YouTube channel um, tomorrow. Uh, as well as uh, all the other episodes there. This will be episode seven. Uh, the first six episodes are already up, so check those out. Uh, let me know what you think about those. Um, thank you uh, to Nathan Bridges for hanging out in the chat and watching the stream uh, and talking. Uh, thank you very much, and the likes on the stream and everything. Thank you very much for that. Um, it means a lot to me. Totally, uh, truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Um, and uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, so hope uh, everybody has a good good night. Uh, I want to thank I'm Hell on Heels Gaming for liking. Uh, I want to thank Johnny Martin for liking, um, and uh, once again, especially uh, Nathan P. Bridges for uh, liking and chatting in the stream. So uh, thank you everybody for being here tonight. Uh, this is your old pal Doc Shakespeare taking his final bow. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, remember how we always end the stream. You are loved. You are important. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. And we'll see you very soon. I love you. Good night.